so let's get started. Um, first of all, you're going to need some basic hand tools. You probably have these around, some sort of utility knife, decent quality scissors, um, uh, straight edge, pencil, stuff like that. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is glue. I prefer using a contact cement because once it, you know, it, it tacks up very quickly, you can stick things together and it's stuck together forever. A um, small bottle should be plenty adequate. The other question you have to answer is, are you going to build a collapsible version or are you going to tape the thing up and never take it down? If you're building a collapsible version, you're going to need some Velcro. Probably one of the most important considerations is the tape. Duct tape is not created equal. It comes in all kinds of colors and different sizes. And for instance, this silver tape is a very cheap, generic um, fabric tape. It's actually labeled duck tape, as in quack quack, and it warns you not to use it on heating ducts. I prefer going with the name brand, and this is real duct tape, and the black is completely opaque, at least in, in our testing, is completely opaque. Where with the silver tape, you may need two layers, you can buy one layer on the black. The other tape that will be handy to have is some painter's tape. This is the tape that's not real sticky, and we use it to hold things together while we're measuring and cutting and, you know, just putting things together. And we take it off and it doesn't do anything. So, the next topic is the box. Uh, this box is 16 by 16 by 19. Uh, I actually wish it was a little bigger, a little bit longer, but this is the closest that our box supplier had in stock, so that's what we went with. Um, the other thing you're going to need is some extra cardboard to make the door and some of the other parts that fit inside. So an extra box or just some extra scrap cardboard that you have laying around uh, should be adequate. So with that in mind, um, why don't we get started on the door. Now, I've already gone ahead and cut the door out and the two handholds. So we're going to get going on gluing the spacers on the front. Okay, three details. Three little details I should have mentioned before I talked about cutting holes in the box. First of all, the uh, box you get is probably not going to be particularly square. So, you know, set it up, tape it together, put it on a, a really flat surface, and get it as flat and as square as you can. And what you're probably going to find, for example, on this box, this bottom flap is probably an eighth of an inch too long and needs to be trimmed if we want to keep the box square. Next, look for the seam. This is where the manufacturer glued the box together, you want to locate that in the upper back side of your dark box. That way when we cut the holes in the front here for the armholes, we're not going to be messing with this seam. Now the third point is if you're building the collapsible version, you want these flaps to fold up so you have a horizontal um, seam here. That way when we add the Velcro um, straps here, they'll be on the edges and not down here underneath the box making it rock. Three little details that you want to take, pay attention to before you start. Cutting. 